A very pleasant day to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family, active citizens and Nigerians. Thank you for joining me once again. Now, while Lagos protesters sang the old national anthem, you know, called Tinubu, called out Tinubu for treason, charged Tinubu with treason in the people's court. And the protest there is going quite peacefully. In Abuja, the policemen have crammed down on protesters, a clash between the protesters and the policemen. Now, it's funny because the protesters, the policemen are only attacking the protesters that are protesting against Tinubu's government. The pro Tinubu protesters are all over the place showing support for him and nobody is attacking them. Nobody is saying anything to them. That is to show you the kind of country we are in. And this is uh, this is supposed to be our 64th independence. Unfortunately, there is nothing independent about this 64 years. It has been 64 years of deception, of lies, of, of, of slavery, of suffering the people, of putting the people through penury and pain. And that is why the protesters are all out there saying that, okay, you cannot deceive us no more. You are actually, it has, it has been a colossal failure. And that is why we are coming out to call you out. Today, Tinubu's speech did not sit well with Nigeria because a lot of them have reacted negatively to it and trust me it has been from one tussle to another i'm going to be showing you video evidences to what is happening in abuja what is happening in Lagos state and then some others but before i do that let me also tell you that yesterday when um um, um very dark man landed in the the house of assembly you know that they told us um uh, what is the minister for interior told us that they have they had suspended all the prison uh, the prison wardens that were involved in that whole um um Bobrisky saga where they said that they were not in the prison and all that he didn't put him in the prison but the man came to the to the to the national assembly yesterday that's to the house of reps and when they asked him if he was suspended he said no that is it was social media suspension and the re suspension nobody gave him any suspension now they have come to lie again with the paper showing that yes we actually suspended him. these guys are a bunch of liars let me allow you to listen to what this man said and when i come back we'll continue we are going to be we are going to do justice i want to ask this officer are you under suspension? <laughs> Don't let me was anything to do to that effect. Are you under suspension? Yes. There was a press release yes. by the National Day and News that I and my colleague, Ms. Bomb, and some others yes. have been suspended. Were you giving reasons for your suspension? No reason was given. No reason. So we just have you a letter. And tell you to go. Did this happen later? Are you in, are you are you a suspension? You said yes. In social media suspension, I you seen it right now this is nigeria a lot of people are saying a uh, very dark man's exposition or expose is um, a distraction from the main thing that is happening the government are truly aligning with it because it's actually a distraction they want to distract nigerians i can tell you that in as much as nigerians are paying attention to the evils on the ears of this government this is one of the biggest you know revelations also because it's very clear to us that when we talk about corruption is on all sides and the prisons now are their, their corrupt practices are being exposed if bob risky my question the question i always used to ask is if bob risky can actually walk his way in such a way that they didn't put him in that prison after they lied and they came out was showing stuff that he's actually in, in in good shape and in good health and carried him and kept him in an apartment to relax for six months then what about all these politicians that they carry there that is to say none of them none of them they did that prison they go call lie say politicians they don't arrest politicians dss don't carry politicians this one that one uh, they will go to for soft spot keep them they go to chop life that is why the same people come out and perpetrate the same evil and steal i'm going to be working on the video that ndume did very recently about how you know corruption has become the order of the day because nobody pays after being corrupt instead they 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 they, they give you a better position while after being corrupt in fact they promote you for corruption there's always compensation when you are very corrupt in this country 
and I can tell you, it is very clear that all these prison things know they work. Because right now, look at the expose. Clearly, a lot of people don't stay in those prison cells. They carry them to buildings very close to the place and keep them there. And they will tell them, shut up. Because if a man can walk his way with just small money to make sure that he's not in the prison, imagine those politicians that have stolen, that have stolen billions that can produce a good amount and give them. They go, they even escort you, go, they go around. Little one that one time Mr. Ripon about it said, somebody they said was in prison, pregnanted his wife. The question now was, how did the wife get pregnant? Did she enter inside the prison, sir? A senator or something of that nature, I can't remember. But you have seen the corruption in the system. And when they tell you we have suspend, we have suspend, all those things, audio suspension, they just want to make social media calm down, not knowing that they did nothing. The best option for, for, for Nigeria is if you are caught in any form of corruption, may they kill you. Maybe they, maybe death. The way Chinese and others they do and are the best option. Nothing like going because these these guys they will be relentless. That is why they come out of prison, go back and perpetrate the worst. And in fact, when they come out of prison, that's when they give them double promotion. They say, Go and steal some more because you have been able to be tested and trusted, and you have stolen and you have gone to prison, and the prison is a fake one. Fake prison. Let me take you to what's happening in the protest ground, and when I come back, we'll wrap this up. Now you've seen it right this is actually the situation in abuja you know escalating to something else the clash between the protesters the revolution revolutionary protesters and then the nigerian police force you know these guys are peaceful these guys have not done anything wrong they have not triggered any kind of you know suspicious activities they are just walking staying in one place and actually agitating and the next thing the military guys come and the, the police come and the next thing they start releasing tear gas on them now if they, these people get angry and they start attacking the police they'll say oh they give protesters killed police they will forget that police were the ones that started the mayhem the destruction you know they are always the ones with the fault they can't z zero crisis management zero conflict management zero these are mad people that are just roaming the street in black and black uniform and you can see it clearly let me allow you to watch the video through and when i come back i'll show you parts of what is happening in lagos and then we'll continue Let's go, let's go. Sorry, I really don't care. kind of repression we are talking about in our country. The last time they spent 45 million dollars to quell the protest of August 1st. Only God knows how many million dollars they spend this time around. They will not go and fight bandits. They will not go and fight headsmen that are killing people. But they always have to show force on protesters. Nigerians, if you don't wise up, time will pass. This government doesn't give a hoot about us. And it is high time we bond together in our millions and let this 1% know that this country is all of us and not somebody's own. Now, this is Lagos State. You can hear the protesters chanting. Tinubu Oli, Tinubu Oli. With the protection of the police, the protesters are carrying out their duties quietly and diligently. Let me show you some more videos from Lagos before we wrap this up. This is our court. This is the people's court. This is the people's assembly. And what do they do here today? We are trying Tinubu for treason. And Tinubu on the street is being tried for treason against 200 million people of Nigeria. Not be so To talk too much. Our own independence starts now. Because the independence we got in 1960, we struggled for they struggled for it. We are struggling for a new independence. And it is part of the continuation of what we started in 2019 with the revolution now. Because we believe that only revolution can save this country. Revolution now! The way this country is doing like this, this country is not turn upside down, you know. This injustice is too much for this country. Now I know some people, now they're full busy. Now I know some people, now they're full busy, pass. Maybe our people will be the criminal. We're not going to hear them. What did they happen? This baby is killed on my self. The guy baby is killed. The guy is down myself. Go put up for apartment. Where is that man? 
Because they don't want to be preserved. You know, they don't be big men for Nigeria. Who die like my go prison? How many three times? Shall put this and go prison? So, what be Bobby Whiskey? Who Bobby Whiskey be? Who be the Godfather? You won't know. You may be dark, but this Godfather. Or who will kill you? No, we can start for you. Now, me, I tell you, you're young. You know, you know, we can start for you. Now, looking at everything that is happening in this country, why won't people come out and say, okay, we've had enough? I learned that the ones that came out in just five of them have been arrested. The police, instead of con co connecting with the people, because it's a general fight for also themselves, they have be they decided to play very stupidly and foolishly, as usual. No sense of reasoning at all. People that are not carrying guns, People that are carrying placards and say, listen, we've had enough. You are telling them not to come and complain. You beat a man and you are telling him not to cry. You are pissing on a man's back and you are telling him it's rain that is falling on him. And you expect him not to talk when he realizes that you did piss on him back. And that is what has been happening. And that is why you see that they are fighting anybody that wants to come and protest. Don't come and protest though, so that people will not know what's happening in Tinubu's government. You have, this is the worst government we have ever experienced. I can tell you, right from the days of the PDP down to this point, this is the worst. The military guys were even better. I've never ever supported a military takeover for one day, and I will never support it. I believe democracy is the best. But this government, you are dealing with Nigerians, and you are seizing their freedom of speech. You are holding it captive. Nobody should come out and talk. And the same you had the voice to make loud noise when it was your turn. When other people were there. You want to make sure you, you, you stamp your foot on the necks of Nigerians. So that they don't come out, their voice will not be heard. But people are coming out non nonetheless. Expressing themselves. Telling the people that you cannot hold us captive. No matter how you try. We will say our minds, we will say our peace of mind. How can you trample on the fundamental rights of Nigerians and tomorrow you charge them to court and say they, are, they, they did a treasonable offense? It's treason they committed for coming out to protest. They have committed treason. Shebi, they said they were not going to allow anybody to protest. Shebi, Lagos, they are protesting. You can't, you can't deal with a man, beat him mercilessly and expect him not to cry. You hold him from crying. It doesn't work that way. He has the right to cry. It's his right. You see the reactions. If you go through, it has been reactions, reactions, reactions all over. Nigerians are tired and frustrated. And they are coming out to pour out their grievances and their frustrations. And what these people are doing is to try to hold their mouths. So that they don't talk, they don't speak out. We say we are celebrating. What independence are we celebrating? What has made us? What are we? Where is the independence? Independence in what? A country that still depends is celebrating independence. A government that before you know they have run to the Western people to go and borrow. Following the pattern of World Bank and whatever. Crippling the economy every single day. Those guys will never ever want your economy to boom because they know that if it boom, you know go the come they collect from them. Now money that they look for, so they go give you decisions. We go tramp, we go step, we go scatter the economy so that you go always lean on them for survival. They will be using all you have, and you'll be leaning on them for survival. A country that in how many years down the line we've not been able to get a functional refinery, we still go out. They don't go take away in using and they do. They don't frustrate devil come up from the man. They don't want it to work because they prefer the injustices, the criminality, everything that is evil. That is what they prefer because it favors them. So anything that is going to change, that is why we keep shouting electoral reforms and everything. Who go do one? If nobody else go stand up, say it all do. Who go do one? Something that is favoring these guys, you want them to come and change it. Constitution where they sweet them, you want me to change them. Well done. It will never happen in their time. They will keep telling you that hey, we are working on changing because it will they will four years will pass. Nothing they happen. It's the same way they keep telling Nigeria, get hope, get hope, four years go pass. No hope. He will now come back after four years and say this time around, they have been able to settle the old depth of the past. It's time to work. Then he will finish the people for the remaining four years. 
let me drop this here guys drop your comments in the comment section really love to hear from you subscribe to this channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified thank you for watching this video have a blessed day i'll see you next time